I am back for another video. It's been a while. I'm thinking about a month. But I am planning on coming back. And I am coming back with a favorites video. I haven't done one in a while. So I have quite a few items sitting in front of me that I want to show you guys. So let's just get started. The first two things are kind of random. So the first one is Dr. Pepper. I'm back to loving Dr. Pepper. So there's that. Next is this Glade Sparkling Spruce Timeless Joy spray, like a fragrance spray. You know what I'm talking about. Gets rid of like icky, crappy odors. And I look forward to this coming out every year. And I buy like 20 of them, so I have them throughout the year because I love this one so much. It's my favorite and I will probably buy 20 more this year just so I have them throughout the year. So definitely go check this out because it smells so, so freaking good. I have this Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Intensely Smooth Leave-In Conditioner Cream. I love using leave-in conditioner after my showers. It makes my hair softer and I love my hair so much. So I love this stuff. I was using a different Garnier Fructis one. It was in an orange bottle, but I couldn't find that one. So I went with this one and it works great. I barely made a dent into it. So this is gonna last me a very long time. Next I have this, um, this might be TMI for you, but it's vagina wash. I call it vagina wash. It is the Simply Summer's Eve Coconut Water Gentle Foaming Wash. I used to use Vagisil and I still have one more, I think, but I think I'm gonna go back to using this because I like it a lot better. It feels better, it doesn't feel as sticky, I guess, I don't know. I don't know. I was debating whether I wanted to share this or not, but I do because I actually really like it. So there's that. I will try and leave all of the links down below like I usually do, so that way you guys can go check this stuff out. Next is basically face care, facial care, however you want to say that. Um, lately, I have been getting back into doing face masks. I haven't been liking the sheet masks as much as I used to. I like the ones you can just rub all over your face and then wipe it off when it's dry. So these are a couple that I have been using. It's the Elizabeth Milky Piggy. And this one is supposed to like clean out your pores, help with fine lines, that kind of thing. And I got this off of Amazon. So I'm not sure if it actually works. I just think it's kind of cool. It goes on your face gold and then it dries white. So that. Here is another Elizabeth mask. It is Elizabeth Milky Piggy Carbonated Bubble Clay Mask. I think this one is like a, it like cleans things out, I guess. I don't really know the word for it. I can't think of the word. But anyway, it basically turns into bubbles on your face and it feels really funny, but I like it. So here is another mask. There's that. This is Neutrogena Fresh Foaming Cleanser. I have shared this before. This is the only face wash that I use in the shower and I love it so much. It does its job. It doesn't like leave any residue or anything and I love it. Neutrogena is like my brand for face care and I think it'll stay that way for a long time. Next I have again Neutrogena. It is the Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair Moisturizer. Broad Spectrum SPF 30. I love this moisturizer. And you can never be too early to start taking care of your skin when it comes to wrinkles and aging and stuff like that. So I have been using this stuff for about a year and I love it. I also use the Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair Eye Cream. I always put it on my eyes, under my eyes. I put it up here to help with my wrinkles up there, right here on the outside. I also put it down here to help with my laugh lines, stuff like that. So I use it pretty much on my whole face, but I seriously love this stuff. Next is all makeup. I don't wear that much makeup at all, really, I don't. But I am trying to get back into wearing some makeup at least so I don't look like a zombie every day. So I'm gonna show you some stuff from Unique. I am not a presenter for Unique, but my sister is. So if you are ever interested in purchasing some makeup unique products or 
face cleanser, stuff like that. You can click on her link down below. I will leave it down below and you can check out some unique products. So first I will share the non-unique products and then I will share the unique products last so you guys can kind of see them. The first thing I'm gonna share with you is this e.l.f. bronzer and blush palette. It is called Saint Lucia, I think. And I love this thing. I use this thing pretty much every time I put my makeup on. And I love it. Like, look at that. Elf products, seriously, they impress me and they're cheap. I also use this Maybelline Master Primer for my face. It blurs and it has redness control. And I have a lot of redness. So I love this stuff. For a long time now, I haven't been wearing foundation, so I basically just put this on my face and then I use what I will show you next and it does its job. Like, I don't need foundation, so. Foundation to me is just basically an extra step that I, I don't want to do. So like I said, I put my primer on and then a powder. It is called the Physician's Formula Youthful Wear and it is the translucent illuminating finish. I saw this on YouTube. Jamie Kite shared it in one of her videos a while back and I got it and I love it. And obviously I had used it a lot. So there's that. I need to get some more, but I can only find it on Amazon. Whenever I go to the store, they're always bought out. So I need to order some more of this for sure. This stuff is awesome. Next, I have this Physician's Formula highlighter. All this stuff has worn off from the top. It's a Physician's Formula highlighter in translucent pearl. And I obviously use this a lot as well, but I really like it. Next, I have this Maybelline Master Precise Eye Studio Black Liquid Eyeliner. Basically, it is what it says it is. This is the eyeliner. I love it. And yeah, does its job. I am in no way like good at my makeup. I just kind of do what I do and if it turns out good, ban freaking tastic. Let's move to the unique stuff. Like I said, my sister is a unique makeup presenter. They have all kinds of things, brushes, palettes, foundation, eyeliner, um, face cleanser, all that, all that stuff. So. I did get a kit, and I guess they call that kidnapping, but whatever. I got a kit with a whole bunch of stuff. Some of it I'm actually going to be giving to, back to my sister because she'll probably use it more than I will. But some of the stuff I have kept, and I really, really, really like them. So I'm going to show you the unique products that I have really been loving. First off, they have this Moodstruck Eye Primer. And I never really used an eye primer. But I use this and it's kind of tacky, but the tackiness helps a lot. My eyeshadow stays on all day long with this stuff. It doesn't move and the tackiness obviously helps with that. So I will continue to use this. I will probably buy some more when I run out and I would definitely suggest you try it. I have the Unique Moodstruck Epic Mascara, this stuff. I really like it. I was using the I was using the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara before and I really liked it, but this stuff it doesn't move, like it doesn't come off and like it doesn't run up here or whatever. I really like it. It stays on all day and it makes my lashes look good. So, I would recommend this as well. Next, I have this unique blending brush and I'm not the type of person who has like five million different types of brushes just because I don't know how to use them but this it puts on my eyeshadow pretty well I like how soft it is and I have been using this one a lot to put my shadow on I have this Moodstruck Addiction shadow palette number four and it's gorgeous this is the palette I have been using Tender and Honest. I haven't used any of the rest of them because I'm more of a neutral kind of girl, but you can obviously tell which ones I use and which ones I don't. So yes, like this. And my favorite product from Unique is the lip gloss because 
I'm not really a, a lip color person. I like lip gloss that just makes your lips look a little more shiny and pretty and whatever. So this is the Unique Lucrative Lip Gloss in Lovesick. It looks rather pink. Yeah. It looks rather pink, but it's not. It comes out pretty clear. So I really like this. I use this a lot when we go out and just to keep my lips in a way moisturized. And I really like it. You guys, that was my favorite. This is going to be a long video, so I'm going to try and edit it down. But I just wanted to share with you guys what I have been loving lately. I'm so glad to be back and to be just starting to post more often because I have missed you too. I did take a break, but I'm I'm missing it. So I really want to come back and meet more of you guys and post more videos for you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I will have all the links down below of what I can find of all these favorites. I will also have my sister's link to her unique makeup site. So you guys can go check that out if you'd like. I will talk to you guys later and I hope you have a good day.